okay? Place your arm weight on the side for now. We're going to use them later, but for now we're going to start the class standing. So come towards the front of your mat. Take your arms down by the side. We're going to start with some standing roll downs. So inhaling through the nose. As we exhale, we knot the head down and we roll the spine down, articulating. I'd like you to soften the knees a little bit. Try to stay in flexion as much as you can. And then go ahead and tip the pelvis forward. Bring your body lower to the ground. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. As we stack up the spine, coming to your longest standing or tallest standing position ever. Inhale. Exhale, we knot the head down, then we articulate the rest of the spine down and we tip the pelvis forward, softening the knees as we go a little closer to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, we roll it up again. And standing nice and tall, chest is open, neck is long, gaze is forward. One more, inhale. Exhale, and take it down. And softening the knees, take your body down. You know, let's just stay down here. Place your hands down on the floor. Perhaps you may have to bend your knees a little bit deeper here. Now I'd like you to go into a deep fall. So bring the pelvis down. And then go ahead and stretch your legs. And bring your body upside down again. Bend the knees, go into a deep fold. And exhale. And Straighten the legs again. Inhale and exhale. Straighten the legs. One more. Inhale and exhale. Straighten the legs and bend the knees. Go into a deep fold here. Now, like you just stay here for a second. Transfer your hands behind you and place your pelvis down, go into a seated position, bring your feet forward, legs together, sitting nice and tall, take your arms forward, inhale, exhale, into the C curve and we roll ourselves down to the floor, arms by the side, bring the feet in and release your head down, feet are hip width distance apart, ready for a pelvic curl, inhale, Exhale, we draw the abdominal in and bring the lower back down and articulate the spine up to your bridging position. So I'd like you to here to focus on really trying to open the chest. So press the side, the tip of the shoulders down to the floor, press your arms down, press your feet down. Can we lift the pelvis up a little higher? Inhale, exhale as we roll down. Bring your pelvis back to your neutral pelvis position, whatever it is for you today. Inhale. Exhale. We rock the pelvis, imprint the lower spine. Use your hamstrings and your abdominal as you articulate the spine up to your bridging. Inhale. Exhale. And we roll down. And release the pelvis back to your neutral position. Inhale. Exhale. Roll up. Neck is long. Your energy of the thigh is directly forward towards your knees and over your feet. Inhale. Exhale. And roll it down. Let's do two more times. In breath. Exhale. Roll up. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Roll down. And the last one, we are going to set the top here. So we exhale, we roll up, come up to the bridging position and stay. Press your left foot down, drawing this abdominal muscle in and take the right leg up to the tabletop position. We stay in breath. Exhale, four, five, four, three, two, one. And we take the foot down. Establish a pelvis position, press the right foot down, and let's take the left leg up to the tabletop position. We stay. And 
for five, four, three, two, one, and take the foot down. Establish a pelvis position, then go ahead and roll the spine down to the floor. Brilliant, moving on, spine to supine. Let's take the legs up to the tabletop. Adduct the legs together, take your arms out to the T position. Let's go towards me. As we inhale, we rotate. Now, let's extend the top leg, keep the knees together, and then pull the legs back to the center, and then fold in the knees. So a little variation in spine to supine here. So rotate, and then extend. We bring the legs back to the center, and we bend. And we rotate, the legs go together as one unit. We extend the top leg. We pull the legs back to the center. And we fold. And we rotate. We extend, feel the stretch on the side of the body and come back to the center. And we fold. And we rotate. We extend. Come back to center. And we fold and rotate and extend. Come back to center and we fold. Let's do one more time. We inhale and extend the leg. We exhale and come back. Last one, we inhale. We extend and we come back. And lower, lower the foot down, one and two. I like to stretch your legs long on the floor, so we're still staying in a warm-up block here. Let's go into our roll-ups. So, legs together, palms facing to each other. We inhale, we lift to a chest lift. Exhale, we pull the center and come up over into that C-curve position. We in-breath. Exhale. And arms overhead. And inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And two more. In breath. Exhale. I like you to keep the neck nice and long. And exhale. And take the arms overhead. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, in breath, exhale, let's just go down to a chest lift position here, take one foot in, second leg in, one leg up to tabletop, second leg up, both legs straight up to the ceiling, now we are going to do a hamstring pull, one, two, three, so let's take the left leg down on the floor, bring your hands at the back of the calf. And then here we go, double breath, we switch, double pulse, reach the leg long, and two more sets, last set, and number two. Two more sets. Last set. And we twist. Number three. And pulse, pulse. We're thinking pulsing the legs, not the chest forward. So rotating from the waist. And two more sets. Last set. Last one. Both legs straight up in the air. Bend the knees, release the head down, and just glide your arms by the side of the body, ready for our roll over. We stretch your legs forward, still in the warm up series, take the legs up to 90, and roll over. We dorsiflex, separate, we lower, then we roll the spine down, pointing the feet. Legs away and together, and again, up, and roll over. We dorsiflex, separate, we lower the legs down, 
Then we roll the spine away. Keep your arms nice and active on the floor. Point your feet, then legs together. Up and roll over. Dorsiflex, separate and lower. And rolling down, plantar flex, legs away and together. Last one here, legs to 90. Then we go roll over. We dorsiflex, we separate, we lower down. And we roll the spine away and point legs away and together. Bring the knees in, lower one foot down and second one down. End of the warm up, moving on to our footwork block. So let's circle the arms overhead here. Now, for the footwork, we're going to do in supine position. So it becomes a little bit more abdominal work here, but we can do this. So let's take the legs up to the table. One and then two. Now, we're going to lift that chest up. We go dorsiflex the feet for the parallel heels and we extend, we in breath. And two, let's do six each. And three, and four, and five. Last six, come back in, plantar flex the feet. We go for the parallel toes, two, and three, and four, and five. Last one, and we actually rotate the legs. Let's go into a plantar, sorry, dorsiflex for the um, small V or the V positioned, and we extend, and two, and three, four, five, and six, bring it in, and keep that dorsiflex, open the legs for the open V position on the heels. And two, hold the chest lift, and it's challenging three, four, five, and six. And we plant a flex, stay in open V position, out. And two, and three, four, five, and six, and bring the legs in, parallel, release or lower the chest down. Okay, so we have our calf raises and our prancing and our prehensile. We are gonna lift our chest up again here. So we lift the chest up, extend the legs, dorsiflex, for the calf raises, point, and two, point, and three, Point, four, five, and six. Bring it in, pull the knees, and release the head down to our prancing. In breath, exhale, we lift, and extend. We go, inhale, inhale, and. Last set, point of it, bring it in and release down onto our prehensile here. So we'll lift the chest, I like it to dome the feet, so go into a prehensile position and think about reaching with the heels and we bring it in and again and we bring it on three and in. On four, heels reaching as you extend. Last one. Come back and release. Let it go, lower one foot down. Well done, second leg down. Take your arms down by the side. Now we move on to a single heel. So I like it too. Take the leg up to tabletop again. And then second leg up. Now. Let's dorsiflex. Let's start with the right leg. Dorsiflex the right foot. We stretch 
and pull it in and stretch and in and stretch and two more keep the pelvis stable working head abdominal here last one and switch let's point the right dorsiflex the left and we stretch and return and two on three on four on five last six and we come back point by feet let's interlace the hands behind the head for a little variation lift the head and the chest up and extend the right foot or the right leg and in on two for the single toes on three and four and five last six and other leg out two three four five on six bring it in lower one foot down second leg down and of the footwork block take your arms overhead moving on to our abdominal block and stretch your legs long we're going to transition ourselves with a roll up here we take the arms lift the head and the chest square your pelvis exhale oh, a little harder have to the footwork series there into a roll up and lift the back okay now let's bend the knees for the abdominal block we are going to do our short box series so now my translation of it i like you to dig your heels onto the ground have your heels hip width distance apart okay so imagine your feet are strapped onto the safety strap and a reformer okay so we have our run back to start so abdominal block Yep, we just did a lot of abdominal work and we're gonna add a lot more abdominal work here, so bear with me. So sitting up nice and tall, into the C curve. We roll back, in breath. Exhale, come over and lift. And into a C curve. So I like you to really think about this heel. So really ground the heels down to the floor and to come up and lift two more round back then roll back and exhale come forward and we'll lift last one round back and we roll back in breath and exhale and long spine interlacing your fingers at the back of your head here for the flat back so i'd like you to rest your head into your hands and think about your elbows reaching away lift the spine we inhale for the flat back exhale and inhale find the connection of your sitting bone to your heels so dig the heels on the floor so you can activate your hip extensors and it will help you to stabilize your pelvis and in breath exhale and i lost count let's do one more inhale i think this is number four or five and come back stay for the till let's go to the right inhale exhale and left. exhale and in exhale and left exhale and two more sets as i go to my left i'm thinking my right sitting bone anchoring down to the floor as i reach my spine away come back to the center as i go to my right left sitting bone down as i reach my spine away and come back and last one left and come back for the twist we rotate reach diagonally to the right come back center to the left we rotate reach diagonally to the left come back center 
and we rotate, reach, diagonal to right, come back, center, and left, and tilt, back, center, and right, and reach, back, center, and last one, left, reach, back, center, round about, we rotate to the right, and lean diagonally, come back to the center, rotate to the left, Ooh, a little tricky, and come back to the middle, and center, to the left, we twist, reach, flat to the middle, rotate to the right, and come back, let's do one more, and rotate right, lean, come back to center, on to the left, and middle, and left, reach, on to the center, to the right, back, and center. Well done. And let's take the legs straight, lift the back, run the back, pull it in. Let's go to our climber tree. We bring the right knee in. We lift the spine up. Okay. So we compress. Pulsing in. Two, three. Maintain that beautiful long spine as we stretch the leg out. Then we take the arms down, three, as you roll down, two, one, keep the leg up to the ceiling, bring the arms overhead, circle out to the side, lift the head and the chest up here. So I'm gonna take my left arm first, and a right arm, and a left arm, and then lengthen the spine up, and bend the knee, let's do that again. And we compress for three, two, sit up nice and tall, one, and reach the leg long, lengthen the spine, right arm goes down, left arm goes down, roll the spine down, and take the arms overhead, circle to the side, lift the head and the chest up, left arm, right arm, left arm, lengthen the spine, and we bend the knee and stretch the leg. This is just my variation. We go into a C curve as we pull the center, take the knee in and then lift the spine up. And let's compress for three and two and one. Stretch the leg long. We have left arm as you roll down, right arm, left arm, legs to the ceiling, arms overhead, circle. Then we take the right arm and the left arm and then the right arm and we elongate the spine and we bend the knee. We compress three, two, one. We extend the knee, reach the leg long, long spine and we roll down, left arm down, right arm, left arm, arms overhead. We come up and lift this chest up, right arm, left arm, right arm, reach long, 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 and bend the knees, stretch your legs long. Let's take your arms over to the side, into the C curve spine, as we transition ourselves towards the hip work series. Arms by the side, the hip work block, that is, bend the knee in. Second one, all right, we are gonna do intermediate series. So we got circle down and up, and then we have the frog extended and the reverse. So let's stretch your legs up to the ceiling, externally rotate your legs. We go down, out, and center. And two, out, and three, how far do we have to go down? It depends on you. How far down can you still stabilize the pelvis and the lumbar spine? So your pelvic lumbar stabilization. And one more here. And change, either way, out, down, and inhale. So circle up, down, and inhale. And three, and inhale, and four, one more, five, and pull the knees in into a frog position, so a deeper frog position, 
Let's dorsiflex the feet here. Let's go. We stretch your legs forward. We open right out to the side of your hips if you can. Bend the knee, bring the heel and the thigh in whole. Then we extend. You can also go into a plantar flex when you open to the side. And then dorsiflex as you come back into a frog. We hold and extend. And inhale. And then exhale, hold an in breath. And exhale, plant the flex, inhale. And bring the thighs and the heels in, hold an in breath. Exhale, and again, last one out. And heels, thighs in. And then, you know, one more time. And then out. And then bend the knee, bring the heels, and we stay. Reverse this. So we open the thigh and the legs, point, exhale, in breath. And open as we exhale, hold, exhale. So try to keep the heels at the same plane, at the same height at all time here. I hope I'm doing it. And we're going to deep frog, open the thigh, legs, and pull in. Let's do one more here. And open the thighs and the legs, point, and I'm pulled in. Bend the knees and we stay. Onto our spine articulation. Let's go for our spots, sorry, short spine. We stretch the legs, point. Stay in external rotation. We bring the legs to slightly diagonal past 90, if you can. So you may have to lift your bottom up a little bit. Then press the arms down. We roll up diagonally, like as if you're doing it on a reformer, into frog. Let's keep the feet planted there. And then roll the spine down using the abdominal. Keep the feet over your face and then dorsiflex as you move the legs down to that deeper frog position. We stretch out for the second one. And path 90. And we roll up diagonally into a frog. And we articulate down. Keep the feet over your face. Dorsiflex. And lower the feet down. Again, stretch, point. Pass 90. Bottom can come off a little bit. And then roll up. Well, if you're tight. And into frock. And roll down. And dorsiflex, legs back to the deeper frock. And again, number four, I think. And pass 90. And roll up into frock and roll down. Dorsiflex of it as you transfer your legs to a deeper frock position. And last one here, plantar flex. And pass 90. Arms anchored as we roll up. Lots of work here. And in breath. And roll down as you exhale. Dorsiflex, back to the frog position, legs together, plant a flex of feet, one leg down, second leg down, and we stretch our legs long for transition with a roll up, arms overhead, and we inhale. We exhale, we come up into the C curve, lift the spine up. Cross the legs, transfer your hands in front of you, and let's go to a quadruped. Onto our stretch block here, and then we stretch your pelvis up. Just a moment, four, into up stretch. We're just gonna transition ourselves here. Well, we actually have a nice stretch here, and heels can go down, and then let's take the right foot forward. We're going to do our lunge forward here. So make sure that I have my right foot forward, the heel and the knee in a vertical alignment. So just readjust the back leg and then lift the body up. Take your arms out to the side. Okay, so lunge forward. Now I like the thing for myself is to bring my pelvis slightly posteriorly so I can have a good stretch on the hip flexors on my left leg and we go down and then 
reach the leg back. And so as I take the knee down, I'm thinking posture your pelvis, pull up the center, and then reach out, and take it down, and, and take it down. One more, take it down, and reach back, and I like you to straighten the front leg, tip the body forward, transfer your hands down to the floor, dorsiflex the front foot, the right foot, and try to bring your pelvis to a square position. Right, activate your back extensors. You may actually readjust the back foot so you can actually take the heel down. Maybe, if that suits you. All right, let's stay here. Neck is long, in breath. Exhale. And two more breath. Exhale. The last one. Can I take my hands down here? Exhale. All right. Right foot down. Let's go back to the lunge position. Arms to the side. Now we're going to take the arms up to the ceiling and just stay here for three sets of breath. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale, one more. Exhale, and release. Take your hands down, transfer the front foot, the right foot to the back. Come back up into it, up stretch for a second. Because it feels so good. And now let's take the left foot forward. Okay, right. Left knee and the heel in one vertical alignment. Take your body up, spine up. All right, lift up the center. Take your pelvis slightly posterior, bias towards posterior tilt, okay? That's probably a better word to say. Now, let's take the knee down and stretch out. I hope I'm straight. And knee down. And, and down. Two more. Last one. All right, extend the front leg, tip the body forward, transfer your hands down to the floor, dorsiflex the front foot, the left foot, readjust the back leg so your heel can come down, maybe if that suits you, and activate your back extensor so we're not in a round back position. We want to try to get our spine nice and long in a flat line. Okay, inhale, we stay. Exhale. Inhale, I'm thinking my left hip is reaching back as I take my chest forward in front of me. And in breath. And exhale. All right, left foot down, bend the knee. Come back into the lunge position, readjust your position, take the arm up to the ceiling, and we stay here, in. Exhale, two more. Last one, can I go lower? Can you go lower? Exhale, well done. All right, let's take your hand down to the floor, bring the back leg forward, so the right foot to the left in front with the left foot. And then let's just descend our pelvis down, hands behind you, and place your pelvis down for our full body integration number one. All right, let's do the stomach massage. We have round back, flat back, and ridge. It's going to be challenging, guys, so let's go. I'd like you to have your legs in a diamond position here. Okay, fold the round back. Place your hands on the ground, somewhere in between the knee and the pelvis here. Take your body into a C curve. So I'm pulling my abdominal wall towards my spine. I rock my pelvis back, but I keep my upper spine forward. Okay, then plantar flex your feet, lift up, 
Get to this position, guys. So stay in flexion. And we go. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. And three. Let's do five. In breath. Four. In breath. Last. In breath. Stay. Transfer your hands behind you. Fingers painting back. Lifting the spine. My feet are still floating here. So engage your back extensors here. Let's go. We go the flat back, but we are going to go diagonally backward here. So not quite an upright. Exhale. And three. Four. Five. And stay. Hold the spine. Arms forward for the reach. Like a teaser. We go out. In breath. And hang on there. And three. Lift the back. Four. Last one. Pull it in. Well done. Fit together. Lift the spine. Lengthen up. Let's do one roll down. Roll the spine. Walk your hand forward. Well done. Well done. Well done. And roll the spine back up again. All right. Time to grab, grab your arm weights. So I can't talk anymore now. So grab your arm weights onto our arm work series. So we are going to arm um, work block. We're going to do our kneeling arm series. So arm weight, kneeling upright, hip extensors are working here, arms forward for a chest expansion. We go, press back, let's turn, hit, hit, and return. Again, press back, and three. And four. And last. And return. Turn the palms facing forward for the arm circle. Up. And then down. And two. Up. And then down. And three. And down. And four. And down. Last one, five. And down. Let's reverse. Side, up, and down. And two. And down. On three. And on four. And last one, five. And down for the tricep. Take your arms overhead and let's bend the elbows. Place your hand just behind your head here. Then we extend and we bend the elbow. We extend and we bend the elbow and extend. And three more. And two more. And last one. Okay, stretch your arms. Open to the side. Take your arms behind you for our bicep. We bend the elbow. So thinking, pull the elbow to each other, but keep the shoulder nice and broad. Extend behind. And two. And three. Let's do ten here. Four. Five, a bit extra, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten, bring it up, back, and forward. All right, put the arm weight away for a second. Okay, hands forward. And transfer your body into upside down. We are going to transition ourselves for our leg work. So we soften the knees and we roll up the spine. Okay, interlacing your hands behind your head. We're going to do our, our skating. So transfer, so interlace your hands, hands behind your head. 
Now, transferring your weight to your right foot. Okay, extending the left leg out, we take it up and down. This is my translation of the work stretch. We lift, an additional lift on the leg here. We stretch, we lift, down, and four. We lift, down, and five. Lift, down, and six. Lift, down, and seven. Lift, down, and eight. Up, and down, and nine. Up, and last one. Up, come back, transfer your head back to the center, then to the left leg. Stretch your right leg out, and we lift. And come back, and two, lift. And come back, and three, lift. And four, lift. And five, lift. And six, seven, eight, nine, last ten, and center, back to the center, lift up, drop the arms, and we roll down, roll down, roll down, just for a second, and then we roll back up again, just, just loosen up that leg, Okay, shake your leg a little bit, come to the front of your mat. We're gonna do our full body integration two. We're gonna do up stretch three. So, back facing the front, and we roll the spine down. Take your hands to the floor, bend the knees, transfer one leg out to kind of like a front support position, and second leg out to a front support position here, so half your feet. All right, hip width distance apart. Now I like you to transfer your pelvis up to the up stretch position here. Pressing your armpit down, sending your sitting bone down, lengthening the neck away. Now let's drop the heels down. I know it's more like an elephant here. So we're gonna start an elephant position and then we're gonna bring our body to a front support position. And then we're going to transfer your body forward to a long stretch. Then lift the pelvis back to your up stretch. And drop the heels down to kind of like an elephant. And then forwards. This is my version of the up stretch three. Body forward. So my shoulder is away in front of your, my hands. Lift my pelvis up to an up stretch position. And then and I drop the heels down. A good, nice hamstring stretch here, and we transfer forward, shoulder over your hands for the front support, and wait for it to a long stretch, lift the pelvis, up stretch, and heels down. And again, front support, and long stretch forward, lift the pelvis, up stretch, and heels down, two more, and we go, front support, forward, lift the pelvis, and heels down, and one more, front support, and body forward, lift the pelvis, up stretch, heels down, and just stay here for me, inhale, and exhale, really ground the heels down, one more, and exhale, and we bend the knees, lower the knees down to the floor, and roll the spine up and turn your body facing me. We're almost there, we still, we only have a lateral rotation block and have a back extensor. So let's go for our lateral flexion and rotation block. We're going to do our short box side overs or side overs on a short box here. So interlace your hands behind. I've got my right foot extended out here. Okay, I like you to really ground that foot down and press the supporting leg, the left heel down or left ankle down. Now, tip your body over to the left. So you're probably mirroring me here. Now, we're gonna go down, inhale, 
and then exhale, reach. Create a beautiful uh, straight line here as you come up. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, lift. And let's go that again. Release the bottom arm. My left arm is down. Take the top arm over for a nice side lateral flexion stretch. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Reach out and then bring your body up. Right knee in. Left knee out. Left leg out. I'm in. Interlacing your hands. All right. Right thigh. Hip extensors are working hard here. I want you to Press the hip forward, lift the spine, reach your body diagonally here. We inhale, we exhale, reach. We inhale, exhale. So I'd like you to think about lengthening out and lengthening out, reaching out. And in breath, exhale, two more. One more. And let's take the body down, release the bottom arm, take the top arm over. What a nice, well-deserved side stretch. Reach long. And then as you exhale, take the top arm up, help yourself up and bring the leg in. All right, last block, your back extension. So go on to our front, lying prone. We're going to start with a baby swan and then we're going to take ourselves to breaststroke. So, legs are long behind you, energy through the legs out to the toes, lifting up the abdominal wall, elbows, forearm down. As we glide the shoulder blades down, we're going to lift the articulate the spine up to your maximum thoracic extension. Exhale. Just a little baby swan here. And an inhale, not quite the breaststroke yet. As we lift, neck is long, exhale. And again, inhale, as we lift, exhale. Two more, I'm thinking of growing my head away from my neck and my neck away from my shoulder. As I come up, exhale. And thinking about reverse articulating my spine as I come up into my extension. And exhale. All right, let's go to the breaststroke. This time the forearm comes up with the spine. We reach open to the side, bend the elbows and release down. Inhaling out to the side, exhaling as we return. Inhaling. Out to the side, exhaling, we return, inhaling, exhaling, let's do two more, exhale, last one, exhale, well done, okay, use the forearm, pull the belly and push yourself up, to the rest position and we stay here i can rock the pelvis bloody left and right ease out the back muscle as we breathe naturally inhaling and exhaling well done and let's come stay in the middle stay still and inhale through the nose and exhale and inhale, one more. And exhale. And let's take tuck, let's tuck the toes under. And bring your hands next to your knees. And just push the floor away. Go into an upside down position again. Let's bring your hands on your elbow. 
crossing the arms, softening the knees here. Just allow the gravity to weigh, to take the weight off your body. You may even swing around a little bit, gentle swing, rock forward and back, whatever you want to do to ease out your back, your pelvis. And come back to a stillness in the middle. Release the hands by the side. As we inhale, as we exhale, softening the knees and start rolling the spine up to standing. Inhale. Exhale, we roll down again. Vertebrae by vertebrae, tipping the pelvis forward as we go a little bit deeper to the ground. Inhale. Exhale. We roll up, stacking up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming up to a beautiful long spine. Stay here for a moment. Arms are long by the side. Allow your feet to be grounded to the floor. But allow your head to be nice and floaty, light, floating off your neck and your shoulder. Deep inhalation through the nose. Feel the ribcage expanding sideways. Exhale. Expel all the air you have out through the mouth. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And you are done. Well done. Thank you. For joining me today, I hope you have a lovely class. Don't forget to come in, click the like button and subscribe too. Once again, thank you and I wish you a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.